Shalom, 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 Israel. First, giving honor to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Today's class is Israel a servant for the light or for the darkness? We're going to be touching on pretty much our mind state, how we operate. But let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Give me Romans 15 and 4. Read that when you get there, bro. The book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever thing were written a full time, were written for our learning. It was written for what? Our learning. He said these things were written a full time, were written for our learning, for us to gain knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Read. That we, through patience. Through what? Through patience. Read. And comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So that we might have hope in gaining the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from this information. These things that were written aforetime. These examples that was written. These parables. These dark sayings. These examples that were set up. Right? For our learning, for us to know how and not how to do things. Let's get into it. Jeremiah 2 and 13. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. Is Israel a servant for the light or for the darkness? Read that, bro. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. Have what? Committed two evils. Read. They have forsaken me. They have what? Forsaken me. So one of the first evils is they have forsaken the most high. Right? We as a nation of people, we continue to operate with that selfish mind state as if me, 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 me. Or we have the idolatry stuck in our mind where we're continuing to follow after these false images that we created for ourselves or the, the false images that have been uh, set up throughout the world. And we utilize these things. And what we're doing is we're forsaking the most high. We're not even thinking of him and what he needs us to do because our mind is still in darkness. Read, bro. They have forsaken me. We have forsaken the Most High, meaning we have not listened. We're not doing the things we need to do. Read. The fountain of living water. The what? The fountain of living water. I say the fountain of living water. And we understand, man, water is life. That's right. Water is life. Without water, there's no you. You will die of thirst before you die of hunger. The water, man, this knowledge, this laws, this understanding, this wisdom, the fountain of living water. Read. And hewed them out, cisterns. Broken cisterns. They say we've hewn out cisterns, broken cisterns, these broken vessels we've created for ourselves. Read. That can hold no water. That what? That can hold no water. So when I'm, I'm dealing with my ego, it can't hold no water. When I'm being selfish, it can't hold no water. Bring it out. When I'm acting out of character, meaning not following the law, when I'm not loving my brother, when I'm not loving my sister, when I'm forsaking the most high, when I'm forsaking my God, he say, I cannot hold that water. Read. Is Israel a servant? He says, is Israel a servant for that darkness? Is Israel a servant for those two evils? Is Israel a servant being that cistern that they've created? A broken cistern that cannot hold knowledge, that cannot hold wisdom. That cannot hold that living water. Bring it out. Read. Is he a horn born slave? Is he a slave to the flesh? Bring it out. Is he a slave to the darkness? Or is he that servant for the light? Is he that slave for the light? Read. Why is he spoiled? You say what? Why is he spoiled? I mean, anything is spoiled, man, is bad. So are we a servant for that darkness? Or are we a servant for that light? Let's get more. Psalms 
81. And verse 8. Psalm 81. And verse 8. Read, bro. The book of Psalms. Chapter 81 and verse 8. Here, O oh my people. He say what? Here, O oh my people. The one skill that we still as a nation of people have a hard time utilizing. Bring it out. Listening. That's right. He say, hear, O oh my people. Hearken. Read. And I will testify unto thee. I will give witness unto thee. Read. O Israel. O who? O Israel. Read. If thou wilt hearken if unto what? me. If what? If thou wilt hearken unto me. If we would listen unto the understanding. If we would listen unto the instruction. If we would listen unto the example. If we would listen. That's read. Right. There shall no strange God be in thee. So we should not have strange gods amongst us right that's right we should not have strange gods amongst ourselves right he say there shall no strange gods be in thee what you think you've been doing for yourself bring it out what you think you've been having in your mind right now bring it out right now right now to this day we still got these strange gods in our minds that's right and a lot of those gods are our own selves that's right we set ourselves up we've created this illusion that Everything we, 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 we deal with is good, that we can't have no wrong, that I'm right 100% of the time. But you've created these false images, these false idols amongst yourself. And all behind that smile in them eyes, man, is sadness. Bring it out. It's lamentations. It's depression. It's oppression. It's sorrow. Jeez. These strange guys, man, to keep us out of the reality that we've been living in these curses. We're not happy because we've got darkness on us. That's right. Read. Neither shall thou worship any strange gods. He say, there shall no strange gods be found, and we shall not worship those gods. That's right. But what have we been doing? Bring it out. We've been a servant for that darkness. We've been a servant for that splash. Bring it out. We've been a servant for that lust. Bring it out. We've been a servant to ourselves, man, to that ego, to that darkness, to that devil. We've been worshiping. Read. I am the Lord thy God. He say what? I am the Lord thy God. He say he is your God. Read. That's right. Which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Read. Open thy mouth wide. He say what? Open thy mouth wide. He say cleanse thy mind, man. Make your mind anew, man. Open your mind so you can receive. Read. And I will feel it. And he will what? And I will feel it. That cistern that's unbroken. Ready to receive the living water. That brother that ain't got pride on him. That's yeah. ready to learn. That sister that ain't got ain't got hatred in her heart. That's ready to love. He say, open your mouth. He say, open your mouth, man. Open it wide and he will feel it. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Let's see if it's not saying something similar. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Read that, bro. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 9. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God. He is what? He is God. Read. The faithful God. The what? The faithful God. Read. Which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him. That what? That love him. So he say, open my, open your mouth wide, man, that he may feel it, right? He say he give that mercy. He keepeth that commandment. He keepeth that covenant. Read. And keep his commandments. And does what? And keep his commandments. Read. To a thousand generations. Read. And repay them that hate him to their face. He say he do what? And repay them that hate him to their face. He say and he repayeth them that hate him to their face. That's right. That broken cistern that cannot hold that living water. That brother that still got that darkness in his mind. That brother that still continued to create these illusions, these strange gods, these false idols, this imagery in his mind, man, that continue to keep him in the low. He say what? And repay them that hate him to their face. Because you hate the most high, man. He say, those have forsaken me. That's right. Read. To destroy them. To what? To destroy them. Read. He have not be slack to him. That hated him. He said he will not be slack to him that hated him. Because remember, every action has a consequence. That's right. Whether it be of the light or whether it be of the darkness. Bring it out. So again, are you a servant to the light or are you a servant to that darkness? 
Are you a servant to that darkness that need to be repaid for hating the most high? Are you a servant to that darkness that need to be repaid for you hating your brother? Bring Are you a servant to that darkness that need to be repaid for you hating your nation? Bring it out. Read, bro. He will repay him to his face. To his what? To his face. To his what? To, to his, his face. face. He's going to come see about you. That's right. He's going to come see about you. That's right. He's going to set it up to where now. This right here ain't gonna know what's what. That reprobate. Read. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments. What we need to do? Keep the commandments. Read. And the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. To what? To do them. To what? To do them. We need to do these things. That's we right. need to love the Most High with all our heart, with all our soul. Love Christ. We need to love our brother, our sister, as if we love ourselves, man. That's right. But yet, are we doing these things? Are we wholeheartedly doing these things? Are we truly loving ourselves so we can love our brothers and sisters? Are we checking ourselves in the mirror, making sure that we're serving to that light? Making sure we're not being servant to that darkness. Making sure we're not being a servant to that ego. Making sure we're not being a servant to that devil. That self-examination, right? Let's go back. Psalms 81. Let's start at verse 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 81 and verse 10. Read. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. He say that mercy, he keepeth that covenant. He keepeth, he, he, he keepeth that promise, right? He say, open your mouth and I will fill it. Read. But my people will not hearken. He say what? But my people will not hearken. That servant to that darkness. But my people will not hearken. Heart. Read. To my voice. And Israel would none of me. Would what? Would none of me. He say Israel will have nothing to do with it. He say Israel has forsaken him. They have hewn out cisterns. Broken cisterns that cannot hold that living water. Bring it out. They would not hearken unto the voice. Read. So I gave them up to their own heart. So he went. So I gave them up to their own heart. He said, repay them to his face, right? So I gave them up unto their own heart. Read. Lust <laughs> and walk in their own counsel. Read it again, bro. Lust and they walk in their own counsel. He said he gave them up to their own heart, to that lust, to that darkness, to that rebellious spirit. Work it out. He said he gave them up to it. He just said when we pay them that hate him to their face. What you think we're going through right now? Right up. What you think we still dealing with right now? Right. That's in the truth and outside of the truth. Because we still got brothers and sisters not showing their love. We still got brothers that's still dropping that defiled bread. We right still up. got brothers that's not trying to seek the light of Christ. Trying to knock on that door. Brothers are still in the corner, man, in the darkness, in the fetal position. Brothers still got hatred and malice in their heart. Read up. Read. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. Had what? Had walked in my ways. They say Israel should have walked in the ways. Read. I should, I should soon have subdued their enemies and turn my head against their adversaries. Who do you think that's talking about? Bring it out. You think that's talking about somebody else? Or you think that's talking about you? Who is the worst enemy you can have? Who is the worst adversary you can have? Yourself. Getting in your mind, man. Stopping you from doing the, the, the great things that you can do. Stopping you from showing that great love that you can give to your brother. That great love that you can give to your sister. That's right. That great love that you can give to your God. Bring man. it up. He said, if you would have listened, man, I would have kept you safe from that enemy, from that ego, from that darkness, from hewing out those cisterns, those broken cisterns that can't hold that life, that can't hold that understanding, that can't hold that wisdom, that can't hold that knowledge. Chief. Read it again, bro. I should soon have to do their enemies and turn my head against their adversaries. Read. The haters of the Lord. The what? The haters of the Lord. Read. Should have submitted themselves unto him. But their time should have endured forever. He say, by you continuing to not repent, not 
wash your mind, wash that garment, not renew yourself. He say, man, this going to endure forever for you. This darkness is going to endure forever for you. You're going to continue to be that enemy to yourself. You're going to continue to be the adversary to yourself. You're going to continue to be the person that's causing the most destruction in your own life. The most sorrow in your own life. The most heartache in your own life. The most headache in your own life. You. You're going to be the adversary that needs checking. So again, are you that servant for the light? Or are you going to be that servant for the darkness? And right now, that servant for the darkness don't look looking like it's faring too well, man. Give me James 1 and 12. James 1 and 12. Let me get that with you. Right. Go ahead, bro. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 12. Blessed is the man that endure temptation. You say what? Blessed is the man that endure temptation. You say blessed is the man that endure temptation. That does not stray from the path. That does not fall into that hole. That does not let darkness take over. That's right. That does not let that ego come in. That does not let that devil come out. That does not hew those cisterns. Those broken cisterns that cannot hold that living water. Read. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. He say, for when he is tried, he shall receive the reward for not breaking down. Read. Which the Lord hath promised to them. That love him. That what? That love him. That what? That love him. You receive that crown, man, by that obedience. Right. You receive that crown, man, by, by showing it but through your actions, through this walk. Not just giving that good lip service. Showing it. Seeking that light diligently and adhering to it. Not continuing to leave yourself open for the for the snares. Open for the traps. Open for the darkness. Right. Open for that ego. Bring it up. Read, bro. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Read. For God cannot be tempted with evil. He say for what? For God cannot be tempted with evil. Read. Neither tempted he any man. Read. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust. From his what? From his own lust. From his what? From his own lust. He says he's drawn away from his own lust. That's right. He is drawn away from his own lust. Lust from that, that darkness seeping in, from that ego knocking on the door and you opening it, from that old man not being get uh, not not being rid of by you continuing to live in the darkness. He said you are drawn away by that lust, man. Read and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, he said then when lust has conceived. When, when, when that darkness has come in, when that sin has made itself burn, read. It bringeth forth sin. It what? It bringeth forth sin. It what? It bringeth forth sin. He said it bringeth forth that destruction, man. That's right. He said he will not be slack to repay them that hate him to his face. Are you going to be that servant for that darkness? Bring it out. Are you going to be spirited away through that lust? Enticed by the glitz and the glam of the world, of the days of old, of your wickedness. Break it out. Are you gonna seek that light, the renewing of the mind, the renewing of the spirit, that new man, right. that man fashioned with the light? Read. When it is finished, bring it forth death. It does what? Bring it forth death. He, he said he was gonna repay it to you to your face, right? He say all that hated him, right? That's that destruction, man. Read. Do not err, beloved, my beloved brother. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. He say is what? Is from above. That's that obedience, man. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above. Read. And coming down from the Father. From the Father of Light. From the what? From the Father of Light. From the what? From, From the, the Father, Father of Light. Read. With whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He say, "Is no darkness, man. Is no sin. It is no lust. It is no malice. It's no strife." He say, "These things are perfect. It's a perfect gift. So if it's perfect, man, there cannot be blemishes. That's right. There boy. cannot be marks. There yeah. cannot be folds. There cannot be cracks." 
there cannot be a broken cistern. Read. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth. With the what? With the word of truth. Read. That we should be a kind of first fruits of his of his creatures. He said we should be a kind of first fruits of his own creatures. That we should be the ones, the surveyors of that light. The ones that live in the light. But let's get more on that. Give me 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. First Corinthians ten and one. Read, bro. The book of First Corinthians, chapter ten and verse one. Moreover, brother, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. Read. And all passed through the sea. Read. And were all baptized unto Moses. We were all given the word. Read. In the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all eat that same spiritual meat. Did all get the same guidance. Get the same information. Get the same light. Read. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. They all got their living water right. Read. For they drank of that spiritual rock. That flowed them. That bottled them. And that rock was Christ. That rock was what? That, and that rock was Christ. They said that rock was that light man. That rock was Christ. That's right. That's right. Their understanding. Their purity. Read. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. You say what? But with many of them, God was not well pleased. So the instruction was there. The spiritual meat, the spiritual drink, that living water, man, that light. Christ was there, but there were many of them that was not well pleased. Read. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. They were overthrown in that darkness. Read. Now these things were our examples. He said these were the examples. Right. Read. To the intent we should not lust after evil things. That we should what? Not lust after evil things. That we should what? Not, not lust, lust after evil, evil things. things. That we should not be a servant to the darkness. Right. These are examples of what not to do. That's Read. Right. As they also lust, neither be idolaters. Neither what? Be idolaters. He said, neither be idolaters. And that's something Israel as a whole just cannot get rid of, man. Bring it out. They continue to put puppets after puppets after puppets in front of you. And you continue to fashion yourself after the same light. You continue to seek after that same format. <laughs> if we was all created players, man, y'all all trying to create yourself after one person. Right up. Think about that. He say not to follow that, not to, uh, to 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 go after that, not to seek after that lust, man. These are examples of what we should not do. Read. Right. As were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. So they ate. And drink. Excuse me. They ate and they drank. But they didn't eat of the spirit. They didn't drink of the living water. That was that darkness. That was that ego. That's right. That was that devil. Telling them to go on and go left instead of going right. Bring it out. Telling them to not hearken instead of listening. Telling them to do their own thing instead of being obedient. See? Read. Neither. Let us commit fornication. He said, not also that. He said, uh, also neither let us commit that fornication. Read. As some of them committed and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. He said, man, they had to get checked for their disobedience. Right. For that servant of darkness, man. For you to know what the light is, you had to have an example of what the darkness was. Right. So if you don't know that this is wrong, you're going to go end up doing it because you don't have an example to show you that this is wrong. See? But yet the example has always been there. The light has always been there. But yet we chose to go left instead of going right. We chose to walk that broad path instead of that straight and narrow. Right now, we're still to this day being servants to that darkness. Right we letting our mind get corrupted. Hate, envy, malice, covetous, murder. 
that jealousy, that pride. Bring it out. We letting all of these things take over and let us be that servant of the darkness. Bring it out. Give me James. Go back one and eighteen. So he said, "These are the things, or an example of what we should not do." Right? Read. Neither let us tempt Christ. James one and eighteen. The book of James, chapter one and verse eighteen. Of his own will begat he us. With the word of truth. With that word of truth. That word of truth is the example of the light. That word of truth is what's going to keep us from going back into these things. Back into that lust. Back after those evil things. Back after Peace. that idolatry. Back after that malice. Back after that hatred. Back after that covenant. Read up. Back after that jealousy. These things are going to keep us from that. Right. Read. That we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. He say of his creatures meaning that creature of the light. That's right. Of that happiness, of that joy, of that love, of that knowledge, of that wisdom, of that understanding. That's right. Read. Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear. He said, let every man be swift to hear. Unplug his ears. Read. Slow to speak. And what? Slow to speak. He said, let him hear first before he speak. That's because right. a lot of times we speak before we hear and we didn't walk ourselves right into a situation. Right now. We let our mouth Sign that check that we can't cash. That's right, right. We let that ego take over and that darkness is win. And then that darkness is winning, excuse me. He say be slow to speak. Read. Slow to rap. And what? Slow to rap. A lot of brothers get that anger on them, get that 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 that, 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 that anger and that malice. Bring it out. And without even thinking, they didn't cause the whole situation. They didn't turn a small problem into a large problem. And these things could have all been resolved with a small conversation. Or these things could have all been resolved if you took just a few minutes to step back and examine the situation before reacting. This is being that servant to that darkness. Read. For the wrath of men worketh not the righteousness, he said, the righteousness for, of God. For the wrath of men worketh not the righteousness of God. Read. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, and superfluity, and naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save our soul. Which is what? Which is able to save our soul. What that light do for us? Which, which is, is able, able to, to save, save our, our soul. soul. Which is uh, the, the renewing of that mind, which is able to save our souls, man. Read. But be ye doers of the word. It all comes back down to what? But be ye doers of the word. It comes back down to that action. Not just your mouth service. Being doers of the word. Read. And not hearers only. And what? And not hearers only. Read. Deceiving your own self. What we doing? Deceiving your own self. So just being a hero only and not implementing it. He you say you're deceiving yourself, right? Creating those illusions for yourself. Creating these gods, these false idols. Creating this covetous spirit. Creating the, the, this malice and darkness, right? We're creating these things for ourselves. Right. Making a service to the darkness. Read. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer. He say for those that be a hearer and not a doer, read. He is like unto man, behold it. His natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way. And straightway forgotten what manner of man he was. So that was that pride. That was that ego. That was that darkness taking over. That was that forsakening of the Most High. This is what happened, man. This is what happens when you become that servant of the darkness. You continue to operate in this mind state. You continue to operate like this with your brother. You continue to operate like this with your sisters. You continue to operate like this in your household, with your wife, with your children, with your husband. This is what happens, man, when you become that servant to the darkness. Right. Read. But whoso looketh unto... The perfect law of liberty. He said, but whoso looketh unto that light, read. And continueth therein. And continue to walk in that light, read. He being not 
a forgetful hearer. He said, he being not that forgetful hearer, read. But a doer. But a what? But a doer. But a what? But a doer. Read. Of the word. Of the what? Of the word. Of the what? Of the word. Read. This man shall be blessed in his deed. We just, we read it, man. It told you in Deuteronomy, man. The most high was going to keep his word. That's right. All you had to do was keep your end. That's right. Right. But yet, by us continuing to be servant to that darkness, we continue to block our blessings. Bring it out. Because he just said. Read that last part again, bro. But a doer. Block it. 2 and 25. But a doer. Mm -hmm. But a doer of the work. Of the work, read. This man shall be blessed in his deed. He said, this man shall be blessed in his deed, man. He didn't say this man was going to be blessed in his darkness. This man wasn't going to be blessed in his hatred. This man wasn't going to be blessed in his jealousy. This man wasn't going to be blessed in his covetousness. This man wasn't going to be blessed with his idolatry. That's right. Now you say, working in that light, man. Being unforgetful. Give me Titus chapter 3, verse 1. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 1. Read that, bro. The book of Titus, chapter 3, and verse 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey majesties, magistrates, magistrates, to be ready to every good work. So he's saying, subject yourself to the light. Subject yourself to the love. That's right. Subject yourself to the joy. Subject yourself to the positivity. Right? Subject yourself to being obedient. That's right. Read. To speak evil of no man. To what? To speak evil of no man. He said for us not to have that false report. Not for us to talk down on our brothers and sisters. Not for us to spare, uh, spread that defiled bread. Not for us to be those busybodies. Right. Not for us to be those murmurers. See. Read. But to be no brawler. But gentle. But what? But gentle. But what? But gentle. He say not to be no brawler, but gentle. Meaning not to have that wrath be the first thing, man. Read. Showing all meekness unto all men. He say showing that meekness unto your brothers. Read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. He say we ourselves were also sometimes foolish. Read. Disobedient. What were we? Disobedient. Read. Deceived. Servant. Diverse lust. He say, serving that darkness, serving that ego, serving that flesh. That's right. Read. And pleasures. Living in malice. Living in what? Living in malice. Living in what? Living in malice. Read. And envy. And what? And envy. Read. Hateful. What were we? Hateful. Read. And hating one another. What were we doing? Hating one another. That was that murder, man. That was that malice, man. That was that darkness. That's we right. were once servants to these things. We were once servants to that darkness. Read. But after that, the kindness and love of our God, our Savior towards man. He said, but after that, the kindness of our God, our Savior. Right? Read. Our Savior towards man appeared, not by the works of righteousness, which we have done. But according to his mercy. But what? But according to his mercy. Read. He saved us. He did what? He saved us. Read. By the washing of the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. He said by that washing and that regeneration, by the renewing of the Holy Ghost. He said he set things up for us. Right? Because in the dispensation of time with the Mosaic law, if you did this and it was outside of the law, most likely, brother, you got put to sleep. Right, right. If you didn't operate in that obedience, most likely, brother, your family got put to sleep. Now, with Christ, he made it so much easier for you to operate in the light. That's right. Loving the most high in his son with all his heart, with all his mind, with all your soul. And loving your brother like you love yourself. Loving your sister like you love yourself. These two things hang all of the law. Right, right. So by you implementing these things, man, it made your life easier. Because now, by you doing these things, everything else falls in line. You automatically do the other things. You automatically don't covet. You automatically don't have that hatred. These things fall in line, man. That's right. He said by that, re re that regeneration, that renewing. Read. 
which he shed on us abundantly. Through Yahweh Shah, our Savior. Through who? Through Yahweh Shah, our Savior. Through that light, man. He said, remember that rock was already there. That rock was grace. Right. Read. That being justified by his grace, we should be made hearers according to the hope of eternal life. He said, by uh, being justified by the grace of the Most High and His Son, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Meaning, self, man. You're no longer going to have operate in that darkness. You're going to continue to seek the kingdom which is in you. You're going to continue to exude that light. You're going to continue to walk in that light. You're going to continue to be that example That's of the right. light. That's right. You're going to continue to put out that positivity. You're going to continue to show that love. That's right. Read. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in God. He said that they which have believed in God, that faith, right, read. Might be careful to, to maintain good works. He said might be careful to maintain good works. That person that does not forget. Right. That does not forget not to be a hero but a doer only. That's right. Read. These things are good and profitable unto men. They what? Profitable unto men. They say these things are good and profitable unto men, man. So serving that darkness, you don't get no good and profitable. Right. This is being that servant to the light. Right. Give me First Corinthians ten and eight again. So remember, those were the things that would leave you to serving the light. Right. Read First Corinthians ten and eight. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 8. Neither let us commit fornication. So let us not fall into the servant of darkness. Read. As some of them committed and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. Read. Neither let us tempt Christ. He said what? Neither let us tempt Christ. He said neither let us tempt our Savior. Read. As some of them also tempted. And we continue to tempt him to this day, man. That's right. We continue to tempt him to this day, man. Right. We tiptoeing and we not moving our feet to the testimony, man. We're not truly seeking that light. We're not truly trying to knock on the door of Christ, man. We continue to hold each ourselves and each other back, man. We're continuing to operate as in that servant of the darkness, man. Brother still murmuring, sister still out. murmuring, Jeez. brother still pushing false reports, sister still pushing false, uh, false reports, brother still passing out the foul bread, sister still passing out the foul bread. We're continuing to operate in this darkness still to this day with the fringes on. Bring it out, boy. Right. Out. To this day, we're continuing to be servant to that ego, continuing to be servant to that darkness, continuing to be servant to that devil in you. To that old self that you should have put off long ago. Read. And we're destroyed of serpents. Read. Neither murmur ye. He say what? Neither murmur ye. He say neither murmur ye read. As some of them also murmured. And were destroyed of the destroyed. <laughs> read. Now all these things happen unto them. For example. For what? For example. He say these things happen unto them for examples. Read. And they are written for our administration. He said they were written for our warning. Read. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. He say by operating like this man, darkness is soon to take hold and engulf you. That's right. These things are examples shown as a warning to not do them. To not be a servant to that darkness because the Most High is going to see about you. That's right. He said he's going to repay you to your face. Yeah. Whether that be your mind being destroyed, you continuing uh, uh, that knowledge that you prof uh, profess yourself to have, man, that reprobate hit you. Yeah. You continue to push away all the brothers and sisters that that's showing you love off the muscle, and now you out here alone by yourself. In the darkness with no light. This is what happened, man. He said these examples were that warning, man, to keep you from being a servant to that ego, That's a right. servant to that flesh, a servant to that lust. Right. Read. Wherefore, 
Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. He say, do what? Lest he fall. He say, take heed lest he fall. Man, that's that brother that doesn't forget to hear and do. Read. There had no temptation taking you but such as a common to man. But God is faithful. But what? But God is faithful. He say he keep it that covenant, man. He keep it that promise. Read. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. He say he not going to put you in a situation that you ain't got no exit from. That's right. right. He not going to put you in a situation, man, where you can't get out of, man. He not going to put you between a rock and a hard place. He's going to strengthen you. That's He's right. going to show you where your weaknesses are so those weaknesses can become strength. Right. So now you can be that example of the light so you can guide the brothers through the light so you can guide right. the sisters through the light so you can show that love so you can, can, can show that joy so you can show that positivity. Right. Read. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape. He said he's going to also make a way for you to escape. Read. That ye may be able to bear it. That you may what? Be able to bear it. That you may be able to show it, man. That you may be able to be strengthened from it. We all heard the saying, what don't kill you make you stronger, right? That's right, that's right. Well, this is that strengthening. That life. That obedience. Being a servant to the light. Seeking Christ. Walking after the example of Christ. That's that life. Excuse me. Give me Second Peter two and nine. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse nine. Read that, bro. The book of Second Peter, chapter two and verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. What do you say? The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly. Out of temptation. Don't that sound just like what we read in Corinthians? That's right. Read. And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Remember, he said he will not be slack to repay. Read. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness. He says, so those that are going to get that judgment, that are going to get that punishment, are chiefly them that walk after the flesh, that walk after that ego, that walk after that lust, that walk after that darkness. Read. And despise government. Despise order. Read. And pres presumptions are they. Presumptuous, right? Read. Presumptions are, are they. Self-will. He say what? Self-will. He say what? Self-will. Self Read. They are not afraid to speak evil evil of dignities. Evil of dignities. He said they are not. They have no, no they have no problem, man, spewing defiled bread. They have no problem spewing hatred and malice. They have no problem spewing those false reports. They have no no problem being that evil, man. They have no problem exuding darkness. He say those are the ones that are going to be subject to that judgment and punishment, right? But let's get more on it. Give me John 10 and 44. The book of John. Excuse me, 8 and 44. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. Read that, bro. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. So he say, chiefly, these are the ones, right? Read. And the lust of your father will ye do. He's saying what? And the lust of your father ye will do. He's saying the lust of your father, meaning the lust of that ego, man. The lust of that darkness, the lust of that devil, the lust of that old man. Right he said, you will do. Read. He was a murderer from the beginning. He said, what? He was a murderer from the beginning. So that same Cain spirit, right? Read. And abode not in truth. Because there is no truth in him. Because what? Because there is no truth in him. He said, because there is no truth in darkness. There is no truth being a servant to the darkness. Read. When he speaketh a lie. When he what? When he speaketh a lie. When he speaketh that false report. When he speaketh those illusions that you continue to grab on to. Read. He speaketh of his own. He does what? He speaketh of his own. Read. For he is a liar and the father of it. We create our own matrices in our mind, man, that keep us in the darkness. Right. We are a father of our own creation of destruction. Right. Right. 
we create our enemies, which is ourselves. Right. Being a servant to that darkness. This is what he means by chiefly. You're going to get the judgment and the punishment. Let's go back. Give me Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 1. First Thessalonians 4 and 1. Read, Ru. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4 and verse 1. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brother, mm -hmm. and exhort you by the Lord, Yahweh Shah. You do what? And exhort you by the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Read. That as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk. He said, as you have received the knowledge how you ought to walk, how you should walk in the light, right? You should not be that father of lies. You should not be that father of the darkness. You should not be that father of deceit. Read. And to please God. And to what? And to please God. By walking in the light, you are not forgetting the things that you hear, but also doing these things and pleasing God. Read. So ye would abound more and more. So you will be that man that's blessed in his deed. Read. For he know what commandments we gave you. He say, for you know what commandments were given. Read. By the Lord, Yahweh Shah. For this is the will of God. He say, what? For this is the will of God. Read. Even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. That you should abstain from darkness, from sin. Read. That every one of you should know how to, how to possess his vessel. How to possess his vessel, how to be in control of his spirit. Read. In sanctification and honor. To how he should walk in the light. Read. Not in the lust of con con concupiscence. Not in the lust of concupiscence. He said not in that. Read. Even as the Gentiles, which know not God. So he said not as a servant of the darkness, but be a servant of the light, man. Walk after Christ. That is the example. That is that Savior. Go back. Second Peter 2 and 10. The book of Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 10 again, right? Read. The book of Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 10. But to them that walk after the flesh... In the lust of uncleanness and despised government, presumptuous are they, self will They are not afraid to speak evil diligence. Evil, evil dignities. Evil dignities. Mm -hmm. Read. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might. He said, where are those messengers that was given the word, that was given the understanding, that was given the light to guide? Read. Bring not really occasion. But against them before the Lord. Read. But these as natural beasts. He say these as natural beasts. Right. Read. Made to be taken and destroyed. He say made to be taken and destroyed. The servants of darkness. The servants of that lust. The servant of that that self will. That that uh, 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 that that. Excuse me. That selfishness. Read. Speak evil of the things that they understood not. Because remember. You've hewn out cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold the living water. So you have no knowledge. You have no understanding. You have no wisdom. Read. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. He says shall utterly perish in their own destruction, in their own ways that they created for themselves. Remember, he said he's going to repay you with the fruits of your doing. You've created this darkness for yourself, so thereby this darkness is how you're going to be checked. Right. Read. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. And shall what? And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. And that's that death. That's that spiritual destruction. That's that physical destruction for some people. Read. As they counted pleasure to riot in the daytime, spot they are in blemish. Fighting themselves with their with their blemishes. He said they're defiling themselves with the darkness. Read. Fighting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Read. 
having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin. He say having eyes that are full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, man. They are engulfed being that servant for the darkness. Read. Beguiling unstable souls. Beguiling unstable souls. Read. And heart. They have exercised with covetous. They did what? Have exercised with covetous. Read. Practices. Curse children. They what? Curse children. They what? Curse children. Being a servant for the darkness makes you that cursed child. Right. Right. Read on, bro. Which have forsaken the right way. Which have what? Which have forsaken the right way. Remember, we've forsaken the most high, right? We've hewn out those cisterns, those broken vessels that cannot hold the living water. Read. And are going astray, following the way of Allah. He say, following the ways of the other gods that we've created for ourselves and these gods created by the others. Read. The son of Bozo, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. We love to follow after darkness. As a nation of people, man, it's time, man. Two-thirds of our people choose darkness. Two-thirds of our people continue to choose to be servants of the darkness. So, again, are you choosing to be that one-third, that servant of the light? Or are you choosing to be that two-third, that servant of the dark? As you can see, these examples, man, were set here as a warning to guide you down the right path. Not lead you into darkness, but to steer you from death. That's right. Give me Mark 4 and 14. The book of St. Mark, chapter 4 and verse 14. Now, we've all used this and heard this on the street corner using it. For the enemy, for the loud my brothers and sisters, but really, we're gonna get into it. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 14. The sword, so it the word. The example was that it was given, the law was given, the light was shown. Read. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. Mm -hmm. But when they have heard Satan. What do you say? But when they have heard Satan cometh immediately. He says, Satan cometh immediately. And what does Satan do, bro? And taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. So that darkness seep in, that ego get to coming out, that devil get to coming out, that old self get to resurfacing, and now you have forsaken the most high. Now you have forsaken the word. Now you have continued to steer yourself from the light and continue to serve that darkness. That's right. This is us. We are that Satan, man. We are that devil when we get in our own mind and keep us from going right. We know exactly what to tell ourselves to fall right into the darkness. Right now. And just like we know exactly what to tell ourselves to walk in the light. Who you going to listen to? To that renewed mind? To that, to, 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 to that, to that new the new spirit or that old lump steeped in darkness, baked in sin. Deep. Read. And these are they likewise, which are sown in, on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately received he it. He said they heard it and re immediately received it, right? Read. With gladness. And have no root in themselves, and that so endure it, but for a time. He says, so endure for a time, right? They listening, read. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises. He say afterwards, when 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 that temptation come in, when that when when that, that trials and tribulation set in, read. For the word say immediately. They are offended. He say what? They are offended. He say they what? They are offended. He say immediately they are offended. And what they do, instead of being that, that hearer and doer, that was just that hearer only. They wasn't paying attention. Right. They didn't wholeheartedly seek the light. They was just playing around with it. Read. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear of word and the cares of this word and the 
deceitfulness. And the deceitfulness of riches. He says, so these are the ones that were sown on that thorn, that were sown amongst thorns, right? He said, the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, read. And the lust of other things. And what? And the lust of other things. Read. Entering in. Choke the word. They did what? Choke the word. They did what? Choke the word. They completely blocked out the light. You continue to follow after the lust of the world. You continue to follow after the lust of self. You continue to follow after the lust of that old man, after that darkness. He said, choke out the word, man. The light is no longer there. Read. And it becometh unfruitful. It does what? Becometh unfruitful. Unprofitable. Read. And these are they which are sown on good ground. He said, these are they which are sown on good ground. Right? Read. Such as hear the word. He said they hear the word, read. And receive. They receive the word, right? They heard it. They're putting it into action now, right? Read. And bring forth fruit. They do what? And bring forth fruit. They continue to operate in that light. Read. And therefore, some sixty and some a hundred. He said those are blessed from their deeds, man. Right. You got ones that hear, but ain't trying to put it into action. Ones that hear, that diligently seek and operate in the light they put in the work, and the ones that completely just disregard everything that's came out. They cannot let go of the darkness. That's that Satan. That's that servant of the darkness. That's right. Let's go back. First Thessalonians 4 and verse 5. The book of First Thessalonians. Chapter 4 and verse 5. Read, bro. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4 and verse 5. Not in the love, not in the lust of cons concupiscence. Unconcupiscence. Even as the Gentiles, which not, which know not God. Which continue to be servants of darkness, servants of self, self willed, right? Selfish individuals, right? The backbiters, the murmurers. The ones loving the darkness, loving the malice, that hatred, right? Break it out. Read. Let no man go beyond and defraud his brother. He said that no man should go beyond and defraud his brother. Read. In any matter. Read. Because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. Read. As we also have forewarned you. And testify. He says, we also have forewarned you, and we also have let you know, and we also have guided you to the light. Read. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness. He said, for God has not called us to be servants to the darkness. That's God right. has not called us to be servants unto self. Right. God has not called us to be servant unto the devil. Read. But unto holiness. But what? But unto holiness. But unto that separateness. But unto that light. Separate from the darkness. Read. But therefore, that despise. Despise not men. He say they despise. They don't despise man, but what they despise, bro. But God. But what? But God. When they hear the word, they what? But, but God. God. They despise God. Read. Who had also given unto His Holy Spirit. Read. But as touching brotherly love. But what? But as touching brotherly love. But as touching brotherly love. Read. Ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves. Are taught of God. He said, You are what? Taught of God. You are what? Taught of God. You were given that guidance from the light. You were shown the light of Christ. Right. Read. To love one another. To what? To love one another. To what? To, to love, love one, one another. another. Read. And indeed, ye do it toward all brothers. He said, To love one another and to show that love and that light amongst all your brothers and sisters. Read. Right. Which are in. Macedonia, but we beseech you, brother, that ye increase more and more. He said that you increase more and more, that you continue to live in the light, that you continue to be that example for the brothers and sisters. Let's get more. Give me First John 2 and 7. The book of First John, chapter 2. And verse 7. Read that when you get there, bro. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 7. Brother, I write no new commandment unto you, mm -hmm. but an old commandment, 
which ye have had from the beginning. You say, but an old commandment which you had from the beginning, read. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Uh huh. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is past. Because what? Because the darkness is past. Because what? Because, because the, the darkness, darkness is past. past. I say because that darkness is past because Christ has set himself up to be that light, to be that example for us to follow. Read. And the true light now shining. And what? And the true light now shining. And that true light now shine. Read. He that said he is in the light and hath hated his brother. He said he that say he in the light. But show that malice, show that hatred towards his brother, Reed. Is in dark. Is what? Is in dark. What he's serving? Is, is in, in dark. dark. Read. Even until now. <laughs> what do you think we're dealing with right now? Bring it out. Brothers in the truth. Brothers with the fringes on still having hatred, man. Bring still out. showing malice. Still being servant to that darkness. Bring it out. Read, bro. He that loveth his brother abideth in light. He said, he that loveth his brother does what? Abided in light follows after that example of Christ. Read, and there is no occasion of stumbling in him. He said, There is no occasion of him stumbling back into the darkness because he's walking in the light. He's not only being a hearer, but a doer only. He's getting the blessings from indeed, I mean, from his deeds. Read, and know it not whether he go. Where he started, verse 11. Again. Verse 11. But he that hated his brother is in darkness, mm -hmm. and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth. He said, he that is a servant to the darkness, man, hateth his brother, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth. You cannot see in the dark. That's right. The path that's laid before you is unknown because you are in the darkness. But it is known because the example was given. The commandment was given. The word was given that being in darkness... You're going to get your just reward of darkness. Read. Because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. It had what? Blinded his eyes. It had what? Blinded, blinded his eyes. eyes. I say that darkness, man, has blinded your eyes from the light. Has blinded your eyes from the love. Has blinded your eyes from the righteousness, man. Right. Read. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. He say what? Your sins are forgiven. He say what? Your, your sins, sins are forgiven. He say your sins are forgiven. And this is how we need to start operating, man. This is how we need to start living, man. Following after that example. Following after the light, man. Read. You, for his name's sake. For who? You, for his name's sake. They say the sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. For Christ, man. Read. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. You have known Christ that was from the beginning. That light that was given. Read. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Because now you have you have the opportunity, the strength to overcome that ego, overcome that darkness, overcome that devil, man. Read. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. Read. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. I have write I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word of God abideth in you. You say the what? The word of God abideth in you. That's that light, man. Read. And ye have overcome the wicked one. Give me James 4 and 1. We have overcome that wicked one, man, through the strength of Christ, through that light, man. We've overcome that darkness. But the ones that want to, the ones that want to work. And, and, and bask in the light. The ones that want to love their brothers and sisters. Right. That want to love the Most High and His Son. That want to be that righteous example. That want to be that help. The want to be the one that, to, to help God. The one that, the, the one that wants to be an asset and not a hindrance. James 4 and 1. Go ahead, bro. You can read. The book of James, chapter 4 and verse 1. From which come wars and fightings. Among you, come they not hit, even of your lust. Even what? Even of your lust. Even after that darkness, man, being the servant, that self-willed, man, that selfishness, that malice, that hatred. Read. That war in your members. That what? That war in your members. That war in your mind, man. Read. 
Ye lust. Ye what? Ye lust. Ye what? Ye lust. Read. And have not. Read. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Man, that is the curse of that darkness, man. You're not whole. You're doing all of these things, man, to fill that void and cannot get full. Right. Because you are the cistern that's been broken and cannot hold the living waters. Read. Ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not, ye ask and receive not. He say you what? Ye ask and receive not. Because we are still being service to the darkness. We have not fully repented, man. We have not fully taken on the embodiment of Christ. We have not fully walked after that example. We're not basking ourselves in that light. We're not trying to knock on that door, man. Break it out. Read. Because he asks amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. That you may continue to operate in that darkness. Read. Ye are adulterers. And adultery. He say, you brothers and sisters, read. Ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. He say, man, you know that the friendship of the world, man, that the friendship of that old man, that the friendship of that lust, that the friendship of that darkness, that the friendship of that, 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 that ego, man. He say, did you know that that is enmity, that, that is enmity with God, man? That is an enemy? Read. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world. He said, whosoever shall be a friend shall be the servant of darkness. Read. Is the enemy of God. Is what? Is the enemy of God. He said he gonna repay them that hate him to his face, man. Right. This is how. This is why. By being that servant of darkness, you are now an enemy to God. Read. Right. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain? He said, do you think this, this example was put here for nothing? Read. The spirit that dwelleth in us lusted to envy. Read. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God recite. He said, God resisted. God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Remember, pride goeth before destruction. That's right. He resisted the proud, man, and give grace unto the humble. Read. Submit yourself. What we need to do? Submit yourself. What the brothers in the darkness need to do? Submit yourself. What the sisters in the darkness need to do? Submit yourself. Read. Therefore to God. Therefore who? Therefore to God. Read. Resist the devil. What we need to do? Resist the devil. Resist that ego. Resist the devil. Resist that darkness. Resist the devil, man. Resist that old man. That old lump. Resisting the devil. Read. Right. And he will flee from you. And what? And he will flee from you. Read. Draw nigh to God. I say draw near unto the most high. Read. And he will draw nigh to you. Read. Cleanse your hands. They say do what? Cleanse your hands. He say, wash your hands, man. Read. Ye sinners. Read. And purify your heart. And do what? And purify your heart. Read. Ye double-minded. Read. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. This is what happened, man, when he resisted the proud. This is what happened, man, when you are a servant to the darkness, man. Read. Humble yourself. What they need to do? Humble yourself. What the darkness need to do? Humble yourself. Read. In the light of the Lord. He's saying in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves. Read. And and he shall lift you up. He said you will be lifted up. We need to check ourselves, man. Right. This walk, man, it's a, it's a system of checks and balances. Because remember, a false balance is an abomination. Right. Are you a servant to the light? Or are you continuing to serve that flesh? Are you continuing to serve that darkness? Are you continuing to serve that ego? Are you continuing to serve that devil? Give me Second Peters 1 and verse 3. Go ahead, bro. Second the book of Second Peters, chapter 1 and verse 3. According as his divine power have given unto all things that pertain unto the life of godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. He said through the knowledge, through that light, man, read. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. He said by us being obedient, man, by us following the light, he said that those precious promises, right, read. That by these ye might be partakers 
of the divine nature. He said that you may continue to walk in the light and reap the benefits of the light. Read. Having escaped the corruption. Having what? Having escaped of corruption. Having what? Having escaped, escaped of corruption. corruption. He said, having escaped the corruption. Read. That is in the world. That is what? That is in the world. That is what? That is in the world. Read. Through lust. Through what? Through lust. Read. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Hold up. Being partakers of the light, man, is what's going to continue to get you on the straight and narrow. It's going to continue to have you as that brother that can be able to give, that brother that can be able to do, that brother that can be able to speak, that brother that can be able to teach, that brother that can be set in a position to be a uh, 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 an asset right. to not only his nation, man, but to his household, to his God, man. Right. Give me... First John two and fourteen. The book of First John, chapter two and verse fourteen. Read that, bro. The book of First John, chapter two and verse fourteen. I have written unto you, Father, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word and the word of God abideth in you. He's saying the word of God abideth in you. That light, right? Read. And ye have overcome the wicked one. He's saying you have overcome that wicked one, right? By walking in the light. Read. Love not the world. What he say? Love not the world. He say love not the darkness, man. Don't be a servant to that darkness. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. Neither that lust, neither that envy, neither that hatred, neither that, that jealousy, that covetous spirit, man. Neither that, that, that murmuring, neither that busybodiness. He say, love not the world. Read. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. He said, if any man be a, a servant to that darkness, the love of the Father is not in him. Read. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. The what? The lust of the flesh. The what? The, the lust, lust of, of the flesh. Read. And the lust of the eyes. And the what? And the lust of the eyes. And the what? And the, the lust, lust of the eyes. eyes. Read. And the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. Read. It's not of the Father. He say, being a servant to these things, man, keeps you from the Father. That's right. Being a servant of these things keep you from the light. Right. Read. Read. But is of the world. But is what? But is of the world. But is of the darkness. Read. And the world passes away. They say the darkness is going to pass away. Read. That's right. And the lust thereof. But he that doeth with the will of God. He said he that doeth the will of God. He that is a hearer and doer as well. Read. Abideth forever. He say what? Abideth forever. He say abide in that light, man. It's going to continue to be that example, man. It's going to continue to put out that positivity. Let's go back. Second Peter's one and verse four. Read that, bro. The book of Second Peter, chapter one and verse four. So this is that abiding in the light, right? Abiding in Christ. Read. Whereby are giving unto us exceeding great. And precious promises. He said this, these precious promises, man. These things were given unto us, man, by following the light, by loving not the world, by not being a servant to darkness. Read. By these, by these might, by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption. Having what? Having escaped the corruption. Having escaped that world. Read. That is in the world through lust. And beside this, Giving all diligence, add unto your faith virtue. He said, "Do what? Add unto add to your faith virtue. Read. Add to your virtue knowledge. These are the 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 attributes of that light. Read. Add to knowledge, temperance. So that that that, that virtue is give it gives knowledge. That knowledge gives temperance. Read. And to temperance, patience. That temperance brings patience. Read. And to patience." Godliness. And that patience brings godliness. These are attributes of that light. Read. Add to godliness brotherly kindness. He said add what? Add to godliness brotherly kindness. So these things are going to lead to that brotherly kindness. Read. Add to brotherly kindness. Kindness. 
Charity. And from that brotherly kindness, you get charity. You get a brother extending his hand to help out his brothers and sisters, help out his nation, whether it be time, whether it be assets, whether it be whatever we need to progress, read. For if these things be in you. He say, if these attributes be in you, if this light be in you, read. And about, they make you, that ye shall neither, that, that ye shall neither be barred nor unfruitful. He said that you shall neither be barren or unfruitful because the, it, these attributes make you profitable. These attributes have that happiness, that joy, that life, that living water. These attributes are being servant to the light. Right. Read. And the knowledge of our Lord Yahushua. Read. But he that lacketh these things he, is blind. He said he that lacketh these attributes is what? Is blind. Is what? Is blind. Is in darkness. Read. And right. cannot see afar off. And has forgotten that he was pure, purged from his old sins. Remember, when Christ gave it up, when that light was shown, man, you was purged from those sins. But while you continuing to live in darkness, you continue to keep yourself locked in the, locked in that darkness. You continue to be a servant to that lust. You continue to be a servant to that darkness. You continue to be a servant to that sin. Read. Wherefore, wherefore, be rather, brother, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. He said, give that diligence to make your calling and your election sure by walking in that light. Read. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. He said, what? Ye, ye shall never fall. He said, by you doing these things, man, you shall never fall, man. Right. You right. are going to be well off. It will be profitable unto you. These are the attributes of serving the light. This is what you need to be following. This is how you need to be operating. This is how your mind need to be working. This is how you need to be dealing with your brothers and sisters. This is how you need to be dealing with your wife. This is how you need to be dealing with your children. This is how you need to be dealing with your husband. This right. is how you need to be dealing with the nation, man. This is how you need to be dealing with yourself. These are the attributes of serving the light. Give me 2 Timothy 2 and 19. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 19. Read, bro. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. He said, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Nevertheless, that rock, that, 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 that rock, Christ, that light is sure. Read. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. You say what? The Lord knoweth them that are his. He said, the Lord knoweth those that walk in the light because they're not only hearing, but they're doing. Read. And let everyone that name it, the name of Yahweh Shah, depart from iniquity. They, they need what? Depart from iniquity. We need to depart from that iniquity. Read. But in a great house, there is not only vessel of gold. He said, and, he said but in that great house, there's not only that vessel of gold. Right. Read. And of silver. Read. But also the wood and the earth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. So he say there's some to honor, and there's some to dishonor. There's some that serve the light, and there's some that serve the darkness. Right. Read. If any man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. He said, if that man purge himself from the lust of the world, from the lust of the, 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 the other life, that envy, that malice, that strife, that hatred, if he purge himself from these things, he said, he'll what? He shall be a vessel of honor. He shall be a vessel unto honor. Read. Sanctified and meet for the master's use. He said, you will be that servant to the light. Read. And prepare unto every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness. But what? But follow righteousness. He said, flee that darkness, but follow the light. Read. Faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. These are more attributes of that light, man. Peace, charity, faith, that love, man, that pure mind, that pure heart. Give me Ephesians six, uh, 2, for once dead, right, in trespasses and sins, they were awakened, right, to that light. Read. Where in time past, you walked according to the course 
of this word. He's saying, time passed, man. You were a servant of that darkness. Read. According to the prince of the power of the air. Read. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Read. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past. In the lust of our flesh. In the what? In the lust of our flesh. He said, who among we all were that servant to that darkness, man. That servant to that flesh. That servant to that ego, man. That servant to that devil. That servant to that old man. Read. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Doing what? Fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Being that self-willed. Read. And of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath. The what? The children of wrath. Remember, man, he said that wrath, man, it doesn't bring profit. Read. Even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin. He said, even when we were dead in sin, right? That great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin. Read. Hath quickened us together. Hath what? Hath quickened us together. He said, he hath quickened us together. Read. With Yahweh With what? With Yahweh what? With Yahweh He said, he quickened us with Christ, man, because Christ came on the scene, man, to show us. To give us that light. To be that example, man. To show us it can be done. Read. By grace, ye are saved. He say by what? By grace, ye are saved. Read. And have risen and have raised us up together. And and made us sit together in heavenly places. He say, man, we were set to be servants of the light. But some of us continue to choose to serve the darkness. That light was sent here, man, to guide us. But we continue to blind our eyes we continue to put on those blockers those blinders and serve the darkness give me romans now give me ephesians 3 and 1 this is how we need to operate man check out what paul say read that right quick bro ephesians 3 and 1 the book of ephesians chapter 3 and verse 1 for this call i paul the prisoner of yahweh the what the prisoner of Yahweh Shah. The prisoner of the light. He said, I am locked down in the light. I'm 24-7 in the light. 24-hour lockdown. In the light. I'm a prisoner of the light. Read. For you Gentiles. Let's go. And now give me Romans 6 and 1. This is how we need to be operating, man. We need to be prisoners of the light. We need to be locked in, man. 24-7. Man, one second, let me get that what to do. Go ahead, Romans 6 and 1. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? You say, what shall we say then, man? Shall we continue to operate in the darkness? Read. That grace may abound? Read. God forbid. Say, God forbid that, man. We should not be servants to the darkness. We should be servants to the light. Read. How shall we that are dead to sin? Live any longer therein. He said, how can those that are dead to sin live in the light? Read. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized unto Yahweh Christ. He said, we were baptized unto Christ, man. We was given that knowledge. Read. We're baptized unto his death. He said, we were baptized unto his death, man. We, 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 we received the same benefits. Read. Therefore, we are buried with him. We were what? We are buried with him. Read. By the baptism unto death. Read. That like Christ was raised up from the dead. He said, like Christ was raised from the dead. Read. By the glory of the Father. Even so, we also should walk in newness of life. He said, that death, man, that light was supposed to be the rebirth. That light was supposed to show us. That light was supposed to free us from those sins. Read. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of of his resurrection. He said, just like in that death, man, we were risen in the likeness, man. We were given that light. Read. Knowing this, that our old man, that our old man is crucified. That what? Is crucified. He said, that our old man is crucified, that that ego is gone, that that old man is done for, that that devil is no more. Read. With him. He said, when that, when, the, when, when it was laid down, all of the old was laid down to be buried. Read. That the body of sin might be destroyed. That what? That the body of sin might be destroyed. That that servant of darkness might have been destroyed in the death. Read. That henceforth 
We should not serve sin. Yeah, what? We should not serve sin. Yeah, we should no longer be servants of darkness. That servant of darkness should have died when Christ went. That's right. What should have been reborn was the servant of light. Read. For he that is dead is freed from sin. He said, for he that died, that darkness that died, you are now freed from sin. Read. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we, be we believe that we should also live with him. He said, we should live in that light. Read. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, died no more. Read. Death had no more dominion, dominion over him. He said that darkness had no more dominion, man. That ego has no more dominion. That devil has no more dominion. That old man has no more dominion because now you are a servant of the light. Read. For in that he died. He died unto sin once. But in that he liveth. He liveth unto God. He what? He liveth unto God. How we need to live? He, he liveth unto, unto God. God. The ones in darkness need to what? He, he liveth unto, unto God. God. Read. Likewise. Likewise. Recognize ye also yourselves. He said, likewise, reckon ye also yourselves, read. Likewise, he reckoned ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. To what? Indeed unto sin. He said to be dead indeed unto sin. Remember, when Christ laid it down, that old man should have went down with it. Right. That darkness should have went down with it. That hatred should have went down with it. That malice should have went down with it. That false report, that murmuring, that that that, that busybodyness, all of these things should have went down. Read. But alive unto God, the Yahweh shall Christ our Lord. He said, "When well, we are now alive unto God, we are now living in the light through Christ." Read. Let not sin therefore reign in your in your mortal body. He said, "Let not sin take over. Do not go back into be a servant of darkness." Read. That you should obey. In the lust thereof. He said that you should not obey that lust. Read. Neither yield ye, ye members as in instruments of unrighteousness. He said neither let your mind be that instrument of darkness. Neither let your mind go back into the old. Read. Unto sin. Unto what? Unto sin. Unto death. Read. But yield yourselves unto God. But what? But yield yourself unto God. The one serving darkness you need to what? But yield yourselves unto God. Read. As those that are alive from the dead. And your members as instruments of righteousness Read. unto God. For sin shall have no dominion over you. He say sin no longer has a dominion over you because you are a servant of the light. That's right. To be a servant of the light. Remember, there's attributes, man. That temperance, that patience, that knowledge, that brotherly love, that charity, that godliness. These are those attributes. Sin cannot abound with these things. That's right. Read. For ye are not under the law. He say what? For ye are not under the law. He say you are not under the law. Read. But under grace. But what? But under grace. Read. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? He say because our old our old self has died in that sin. Should we then continue to operate as if we didn't just be renewed? So we just operate like the light is not even there? Bring it out. Read. Because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid. He say what? God forbid. Read. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. He say, whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. So if you yield yourself to the light, you are going to be a servant to the light. If you yield yourself back into that old man, back into that darkness, back into that ego, back into that devil, you are right. now a servant of the darkness. Right. Read. His servants. Ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin, whether what, whether of sin, whether of darkness, read unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness, or unto that light. Be a servant of the light, or be a servant unto the darkness, read. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, read. But ye have obeyed from the heart that for that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Which was delivered you, being then made free from sin. What that light do? Made free from sin. What does following Christ do? Made, made free from sin. sin. Loving your brother. Made free from sin. Loving the Most High and His Son. Made free from sin. Being a hearer and a doer. Made free from sin. Read. Became the servant of righteousness. Became what? Became the servant 
of righteousness. Become the servant of the light. So again, I pose this question. Are you a servant of the light? Do you follow these attributes? Or are you a servant of the darkness? Are you a servant to that death? Are you a servant to that son of perdition? Remember. Every knee shall bow. That's right. And every mouth must confess, man. So either you're going to confess I'm serving the light, or I'm going to confess I'm serving to the dark. Choose you this day, life and good or death and evil. And on that, we say shalom. Shalom.